Joe, that could do the Patriots draft themselves if they had the opportunity. It's not that difficult. You're just as qualified. Take That's it. not true. The, the, no, I'm, I'm giving you a compliment. I was giving you a compliment, Wild. No, no you were insulting my favorite team. <laughs> well, well, it's one way to look at it. The second hour. This first. Today, Jane Daniels' bold claim that he wants to be better than Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson. We made a story about this, but when Caleb said he wants to chase Tom Brady, we were like, oh, that's great. <laughs> Meanwhile, we did we did both in the same segment of the show one day apart. You didn't apart. want Coach to get his, his teeth on that story, so he did it yesterday. <laughs> Meanwhile, Reggie Bush gets his Heisman back. Good for Reggie. Why one person here thinks Reggie Bush has said, should have said, you know what, keep it. I on really? protest. I think they should let LeBron go back and play those two high school games they suspended him for. Oh, for the, for Hummer. the Hummer. Yeah. <laughs> let him go cry. Right, that's true. <laughs> that was ridiculous. True. That was ridiculous. All these things are so stupid. Yeah. We also owe Terrell Pryor a couple NFL games that he got suspended for for yeah. s getting a free tattoos. So, goodness. I'll Man. get you up to speed on what's been happening. While updating their group of rivals, an elite group of scientists, <laughs> academics, and people who Debated whether 2.0 meant better or just the next version. Uh, fought and toiled and burned the midnight oil to concoct the best segment in all of sports television. It's an honor and a privilege. It's time for Game 3, NBA Tears. You like that? It's not necessarily Game 3. Well, what, what game's tears. coming up? Well, tonight's a bunch of Game 2s. Oh, shoot. So uh, yeah, we'll, but it's, we'll just yeah, call but it's, it Week 2 uh, Playoff Tears. Uh, You're fine, Wild. Well, Don't worry about Celtics. it. You're I, in I, I've, been, I've advanced you've, past that You've already series moved to on to the two series of tonight. The one eight. I understand. All right. One eight. 16 okay. teams okay. still remaining. 16 teams yeah. on the Tears. Bottom row. It'll be over soon. Uh, listen, Miami, The no Jimmy Butler, this isn't going to last long. No. The Pelicans, hey, Pelicans, to their credit, I know we didn't talk they about it. Well. They played really well, and it does make you wonder, could they throw a scare in Oklahoma City if Zion were to come oh, back? I don't think he's going I know. to. I him back. The, um, and then there's Orlando. I feel for Orlando because they had such a great season. They just can't score the basketball. Great defensive team. They should really go hard after Paul George this offseason. Just throwing it out there. Perfect. All right. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, listen, this might feel low for two teams that could advance this round. You know, in the Cavs case, or in the Pacers case, maybe potentially even make a conference finals, depending on, you know, the injuries to Philly, or I guess the Knicks would be the favorite in that series if they get there. But I just flatly don't believe in either team as a legitimate contender to make the finals. Uh, the Cavs, in my opinion, don't have enough offense. The Pacers don't have enough defense. Unsettling offseason ahead. So what are you going to do? Phoenix has no moves for a team that makes no sense. The Clippers have a three-year, $150 million contract to Kawhi Leonard that kicks in this offseason. Is that untradeable? Like, is that e even if you wanted to move it, could you? And then what are you going to do if Paul George leaves? Give James Harden a bunch of money? That'll work out great. It's just a really rough offseason for both these teams who I believe seasons will end in the next 10 days. Trying to avoid disaster. So Philadelphia at this point is on a four-game playoff losing streak. Only, you know, a couple games longer than the Lakers' current playoff losing streak. Um, <laughs> since, <laughs> if you really think about it. Since Kawhi's buzzer beater, they got swept by Boston. They lost a game seven at home to Trey Young. They were tied 2-2 to Miami and lost two in a row. They were tied 3-2 to Boston and lost two in a row. And now they have lost the opening two of this series. Milwaukee, since the title, up 3-2 against Boston. Lost two in a row and then lost in round one last year. They've won one series since winning the title. They, both of these teams desperately have to find a way to get out of round one and regroup with their stars healthier or at least finally healthy. All right, this is where the committee turned on me a bit, but it is a bit, while my vote counts for double, it does not count for, you know, the majority of the room. Maybe Nick was wrong. That's wow. what we named this tier. Wow. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, I don't know whether you're laughing, Gru. I, I don't know why you're showing wilds either. Um, maybe the whole the Lakers should want to play Denver in round one was a little mistaken. I still think the logic was there and it made sense. It was close. But. It wouldn't have been close otherwise. But here's what I'll tell you. Here's what I, I the, the, watching, I watching right. the Lakers in the first couple games and watching OKC in their first round, first game of round one, <laughs> it did get the committee thinking, yeah, the Lakers probably would have rather played OKC just at least for the, long, for the longevity of their season. All right, next, 
lurking dangerously. The Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Luke is scaring everybody right now. Tony, Luke is not even playing that well, no. and he is already snarling and swaggering. Kyrie is healthy and playing well, and they are a team somewhat lurking in the shadows that nobody wants to play, and that I know Brew is going to pick to be in the conference finals once they well, beat his they, Clippers. Okay, see you the Pelicans. All right. Well, if it is 90s basketball, <laughs> if it is 90s basketball that we're playing, how about a team with Michael Jordan 2.0? Not better, just newer. And you know what I mean? <laughs> and a great, great defenders all around him. A couple of good bigs. Or what about the New York Knicks just trying to play prison ball at all times? <laughs> if it really if these playoffs really are 90s basketball mm -hmm. once again, you have to reevaluate how you think of these two defensive-minded teams that have bigs, that have strength, that have one kind of not super efficient, but dynamic score. I'm interested in it. <laughs> Four week season. I mean, just wake me in the conference finals, I guess. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Boston. Yeah. You're too good. Yeah. Too good in the regular season. And then the playoff matchups, you're going to you get an injured Heat team, and then you're going to get the Cavs. I thought it was game three. <laughs> Wilds has already skipped ahead. <laughs> I mean, you're in a weird spot where you're a victim of your own success almost at this point and how the bracket fell. And then last but not least, rarefied air for the if they were to pull this off who have been the best player on back-to-back -back champions NBA history Mike and Russell Magic Zeke MJ Akeem Shaq then Kobe LeBron and then debate Steph or Durant that's the list Jokic would join that list. He would join those list of teams from, or, you know, Mikan's Minneapolis team, Russell's Celtics, Showtime Lakers, Jordan's Bulls, Dream, the Pistons. We know them. There's only 10 teams, guys. It's only 10 guys. That's what the Nuggets are shooting for. And that, Brew, is this week's edition of the Tears. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Look, I, I, I get you. Maybe you did this for your cute little titles. Um, but we got to switch to L.A. teams. I mean, what, what are we talking about? That's a good point. Like, you would one actually, even if you think Dallas is going to win, right now one has a chance, a legitimate chance to win their series. One's undefeated. The Clippers. The other is lost. All right? <laughs> the Clippers actually have a legitimate you, chance to win their series. They lost a home game. They, you know they're the third best road team in the league. I, okay, Second best road team in the West. And you, the Lakers are one of the best road teams in basketball. How about that? Huh. Take Actually, that. they aren't. One of the best home teams Ro in basketball. Oh, yes. said, I thought oh, said home teams. Oh, what I say because the Lakers haven't got their home yeah, games okay, yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. Lakers don't have a chance. It's over. I, the only chance we say is it's LeBron. No, but LeBron's still 39. 80 sports. Well, 80 doesn't do it. Show up in the fourth quarter. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. Sure. Uh, you might find him on the bud list tomorrow. So that wow. he's got to switch. Bud hey, list. hey, don't let's not promote into the your friend John mid some tears. No. They, Nick, you know it. They have to switch. I don't think the Clippers are better than the Lakers. It what? doesn't matter who's better. They what do you got mean? a chance to win. Are the, Knicks, are the Knicks better than the Lakers? Right now, yeah. Now stop. What do you mean? The Clippers 90s basketball. have a better chance of advancing than the but Lakers. But they don't do. have a better chance of winning the title. Is this title pie? It's, it's rich. The Lakers, the, are the Lakers oh, winning? Yesterday. Are they winning five of the next four of the next five games against them? Well, obviously, this, I can't tell you that until the series starts, <laughs> right? And as of now, the series has not started. What I know is this. Well, the, the number one objective of playoff basketball is to win your home games. The Lakers have not lost a home game. The Clippers just lost one last night in embarrassing fashion. I mean, it's a fair I know Embarrassing, that. they lost by three. But, With their best player. And the Lakers one lost leg. on a buzzer beater on the road. That's what I know. For the 10th straight time. We, this well, is not a rich tapestry, okay? This is tears. Rich Tapestry is king of the hill. They're all rich tapestry. If it's, then none of them are. That means they don't make sense. So when any argument you have, he can counter it because there's no criteria. This is just which but the names are the are best. But the, the, the names, names are cute. The names are cute. cute. They match. Yeah, it's a little bit. All the names. You were an English good. major. I thought you'd appreciate that. Yeah, that's cute. But you cute. just need I to mean, well, I was a journalism thing. major. The only one on this show, and I think it shows sometimes. <laughs> were you a journalism major? Of course. Broadcast journalism. Broadcast. Okay. You majored in carpentry. That's a, that's a different <laughs> broadcast journalism? That is yeah. very different. I'm sorry. From the number one broadcast journalism school in the world. I was saying that's broadcast like, journalism and, like, print journalism is Okay, well, go, go talk to the kids same. at, at, at Newhouse for that. Go ahead. Do your thing. Send them an email. Uh, it's time to worry about the Bucks, everybody.
just want to drive this home. One, and this is, I've said this a while ago and I was roundly mocked. Shams uh, had a report today that Giannis can't run. <laughs> I don't know how high you want the Bucks to be when their franchise player can't run. <laughs> Reason that's number it. two. Oh. That's it. Well, I mean, do we need more analysis? The guy can't run. Pretty much all. I'm the only one worried about this. Oh, he'll You're be not fine. The only one worried about it. I got the. I was worried about it weeks, you were months ago. About it. You were first to this. Congrats, Wild. Goes Wincy. You, buddy. you, you got him. Right. He's fine. You, I saw you, him in the finals. Wow. Sprained his knee and he what? came back and had 50 points. You said he was writhing in pain. That's he all like we made ah! fun of your overstatement. And then he's just walking up the court. Ah! Yeah, I'm worried about it. I'm the only one. You're not the only one anymore. No one you cares. No one out there. there. No one in the Bucks was even worried. I'm not, I'm the only, you I'm knew the more guys, than it's the a doctors. big deal. Oh, God. <laughs> Finally, Dame playing great in the first half. What's going on? Dame, I, I get. I'll give you. I, I I'll give you the first game. game. Hey, okay, at 35, okay, okay. we were up huge. He relaxed. I, right. I can take a break. Last game, he had eight points. It needed him to show up. It's kind of odd to average four points in the second half of two playoff games. That's all I'm saying. I'm good. Finally, you know, Jay-Z has a line. I don't know what song it is. and It's not even a particularly excellent line, but it's stuck in my head. It's, uh, you are who you are when you got here. You're not changing. The Bucks are now 18 and 20 under Doc Rivers. So as much as we think that the Bucks are great and the Bucks have a chance, when this season ends, I'll be like, oh, what was their record? Oh, like 19 and 23? I don't even know if that works math-wise. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. The fact that, that this team work. has been about 500 yeah, and is going to be bounced from you, you the playoffs. Basically, you got them losing in six. Yeah, that 19, yeah. yeah. But could you see it? And yeah, could you see absolutely. the post-game press conference? It. Like, man, we didn't have enough time. And Giannis can't run. Well, there's and a Dane's legit four points for Doc. He does have a legit experience. What is it? Giannis, Giannis, is, Giannis, what was your first point, Giannis buddy? Giannis can't run. 